Good morning students. Today in this video I will teach you the poem The Heart of the Tree written by Henry Cuyler Burner. We will complete the poem in 3 days and in all these days you should read the poem again and again. Revise the text thoroughly for better understanding. By the end of the video you will be able to explain the meanings of difficult words used in the poem explain the poem in your own words and you will be able to understand how the poet tells about the importance of planting trees and benefits we gain from the trees Now I am going to tell you about the poet Henry Cuyler Burner. The American author Henry Cuyler Burner wrote several plays, novels and books of poems including Rowan, Short Sixes and Air from Arcady etc. The Heart of the Tree poem is a fine piece of poetry with a simple theme and simple structure before giving you the summary of the poem i will give you the overview first in the poem the poet henry cuyler burner writes about the universal theme which is about planting trees and benefits we gain from the trees in this simple poem the poet has touched some serious questions about humanity now i am going to tell you the summary planting a tree is always great work for the mankind but the poet has found out new ways to look at the plants and plantation In this poem the heart of the tree he glorifies the act further shows how a tree helps life on earth and says that it has a direct connection to a nation's growth all the three stanzas of the poem the heart of the tree starts with the question asking what a man who plants a tree actually plants then he chooses to reply it by himself and shows what a tree means to the mankind and to the nature thus proving how great the man is now first of all note down these important words with their meanings and phrases of stanza 1 breeze means light wind shaft is a narrow vertical passage for light or air towering means very tall anai means near hushed means calm or quiet treble means high sound harmony means a state of agreement Now let us do the phrases of sun and sky suraj aur aakash ka of breezes free azad hawaon ka of heaven's harmony swarg ki khushi ka Now the figures of speech used in stanza 1 In this stanza two figures of speech are used Number 1 is alliteration and number 2 is assonance. Alliteration is repetition of consonant sound. The flag of breeze is free. Here f of flag and f of free is the repetition of consonant sound. So it is alliteration. The hushed and happy twilight heard. H of hushed, H of happy and h of heard is the repetition of 
consonant sound so it is alliteration assonance is repetition of vowel sound breezes free here double e of breezes and double e of free is the repetition of vowel sound re so it is assonance now let us see stanza 1 open your books at page 35 what does he plant who plants a tree he plants a friend of sun and sky he plants a flag of breezes free breezes means light wind flag of breezes free here f of flag and f of free is the repetition of consonant sound so it is alliteration breezes free double e of breezes and double e of free is the repetition of consonant sound e so it is assonance the shaft of beauty towering high shaft means a narrow vertical passage for light or air towering means very tall he plants a home to heaven an eye an eye means near for song and mother croon of bird in hushed and happy twilight heard h of hushed h of happy and h of heard is the repetition of consonant sound so it is alliteration the treble of heaven's harmony treble means high sound harmony is a state of agreement these things he plants who plants a tree the poem starts with a question in which the poet ask what does he plant who plants a tree in the next line he himself answers the question that a man who plants a tree plants a friend of sun and sky a flag that fly freely in the mild breeze and a home for the birds which sing a beautiful song now i will teach you how to write explanation with reference to context first we have to write down the hint of stanza 1 hint should be written outside the margin line with a pencil and we will underline it for writing the hint we will write down the first two words of the first line and last two words of the last line of stanza 1 what does dash 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 a tree now we will write down the reference to context reference to context will be written outside the margin line as i have written just under the hint we will underline it and we will write it with the pencil in reference to context we have to write down the name of the poem the name of the poet and what does the poet wants to tell us now these lines have been taken from the poem the heart of the tree written by henry kyler burner here the name of the poem is the heart of the tree and the name of the poet is henry kyler burner it should be written with the pencil and we will underline it now in this poem the poet writes about the need and the purpose of planting a tree next step we will write down the explanation now here explanation will be written outside the margin line with the pencil and we will underline it Now write down the explanation of stanza one as discussed earlier. I hope you have all understood the explanation of the poem. Thank you.